What's up, everybody? Jason here from JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2020 Bowman Chrome Hobby Baseball. 12-box case break. Random teams number three just sold out. And we are uh, giving all spots, all teams in, and all cards ship. So, uh, randomize uh, one team in the MLB. Here you go, dice roller. Here are the customer names. Robert down to Brett. And, of course, you have D-backs down to the Nationals. Let's roll it. And we got ourselves a one, uh, two and a one, actually, three times. Good luck. One, two, and three. William, Donna Christopher. Three times. One, two, three. Phillies. Down to the San Francisco Giants. William with the Phillies, Sean with the Twins, TJ with the Brewers, Daniel with the Astros. Uh, you have excuse me, uh, Jamie with the Red Sox, Sean with the Orioles. Then you have Barry with the Dodgers, Tony with the Blue Jays, Nick with the Rays. Adam with the Pirates. Joe Pizzle, you have the Cubs. Aaron with the Mets. Joe uh, M with the Braves. Ryan with the Cardinals. Zachary of the A's. Jeff with the D-backs. Andy with the Rockies. Brett with the Reds. Last one, Mojo. Sean with the Royals. TJ with the Angels. Sean with the Marlins. Kenny, you have the Indians. Robert with the Padres. Robert Throne. Robert Arlo was Robert Throne with the Yankees. Alex Donnelly with the Chicago White Sox. TJ. With the Mariners, Robert R. with the Tigers, Brandon with the Texas Rangers, John Paul with the Nationals, and Christopher with the San Francisco Giants. So there you go, guys. If anybody wants to make any trades, like William saying Phillies for trade, this is the time. So trade window is open. I'll give it a minute or so. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on Nick Cam right now really quick. And I'm going to start opening up this case and start ripping. So that way we can get a little head start. Alright, well it's proposing Phillies for Red Sox. Red Sox would be Jamie. Andy's saying Rockies for trade. And Williams saying, never mind. Phillies are a higher press team. All right, I'm going to give it about another like 30 seconds.
Alright guys, trade window closed then. You just finished ripping this box and then... Final printout, couple trade proposals, taking back trade, so stick with what you got. And uh, I'm gonna open up like the first six boxes like this, guys, and then we'll go through the hits, and then we'll let's go through the next six. And again, if you guys wanna continue to do some more hobby, well, Hobby Picker Team 4, and HTA4 are both locked away into a little filler where you can win teams in both and pay a fraction of the price, of course. And that filler is almost halfway there, if I remember correctly. So we can do another hobby case and an HTA tonight. And I'm sure Nick will probably, if we have more cases, which I'm sure we do, uh, we can post up another random team as it has been selling pretty well. Am I, am I a wizard or something, Dan? Are you a wizard? You're right. It's like I was watching a. Uh, it's like I was watching a. Uh, old classic scare movie three. You know, and Queen Latifah is like, what's her name, the Oracle or something. She she like reads, she knows what people are gonna say and predicts like the future. And uh, Eddie Griffin sits down while watching like the, the Laker game, and she's with that one girl. And he's like, "Hello, I'm with a client." He's like, "Well, oh, I'm watching the game." And then she's like, "The Lakers are one by six. He's like, "Oh." <laughs> and then he's all like, "I I even get stuff that with women I haven't even slept with yet." I don't know. How many of you guys would take advantage of this, though? Tell me this, guys. Be honest. <sighs> you guys remember Hot Tub Time Machine? Have you guys seen that, right? Classic. How many of you guys, if you were able to go back in time, not just change things, but legit bet on sports history games? Like, of course, like, bet on games, obviously, like, you were a kid for, or you were younger, and you knew it was happening, and you knew what was going to happen. Would you go out and just bet the lot? Like, just bet it all for them to win? Right? That'd be very smart. You'd like uh, create create Facebook before Mark Zuckerberg. You'd create uh, this and that. Yeah, that's true. Got it about multiple times, right? Dude, Dan, I went to uh, I went to Eagles Cowboys game back in 2015, 
the good old Sam Bradford years. And uh, me and my buddies stood out there for the weekend, and we got so... I, I got pretty messed up. I almost didn't make it to the game. We got kicked out of this Cowboys bar across the street next to the Walmart. I don't know why we did, but we did. We got to our seats like about maybe 30 minutes before the game started, 30, 40 minutes. I almost fell asleep. Like, I almost didn't wake up. Like, I was so, like, messed up that I almost didn't wake up. And if it wasn't for, like, one of my friends just keep on hitting me to wake up, like, wake up, I probably would have slept through the game. I legit would have slept through it. But I somehow woke up, and I sobered up, like, crazy, like, quickly, quickly. And I enjoyed the game. They ended up winning in overtime. Touched on passing Jordan Matthews. It was great. And it was, uh, it was pretty fun. The only thing I don't like about that is that uh, taxis and Ubers, even if we're only like five miles, four miles away from the stadium where we're staying at, we're like over $100 for an Uber. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, F that. We walked for like three miles. <laughs> we walked for like three miles. And then once we got out of that whole like surge zone, then we like Ubered for the next like couple Nick, how's it going, man? Is that right? Damn. Brent Selleck. You ain't married? Or should I say... He's just a player? Salad, man. At one point, man, he was so... I mean, not that he wasn't good, but... Man, that was a couple of really, really good years he had for us. He was so underrated. Like, he was so underrated. Might be a relic auto of a rookie or Arizona Folly. Arizona Folly Growlers. Oh, nice. So, uh, hi, what's up to Jeffrey Lurie? Did he acknowledge you at least? Alright, guys, good luck. First one. <laughs> just waved. Bolton. Everson Pereira. Alright, here's that relic, guys. Looks like an Arizona Fall League. And it is Brandon Marsh for the Angels. Alright, so you can look that up and see how he did in that game, too, as well. So who has the Angels? TJ does. I honestly didn't really explore too much at AT&T Stadium. Like I said, I was just trying to get to my seat and just, like, take a nap for a little bit <laughs> that time I went. I mean, actually, I'm, I'm going to lie. Actually, I'm lying. I did explore AT&T when it wasn't a football game. Earlier in the year before the before, uh, pandemic was strong, we, me, Nick, my wife, and... Uh, Jack, you went to the Topps Rip Party. Mets autograph right there. Santos. To the Topps Rip Party. And we act, it was actually at AT&T Stadium. So I did get ex get to explore the, the press like seats and stuff like that. The suites and everything. It was pretty cool. But during the game, nothing. You're so hungover and you only had one beer? This is legit? Like, this is legit, Dan, or... I mixed and matched so many things that day. I honestly don't really drink anymore. Just like I'm just a casual, like you know, social drinker. I don't really, I don't really drink much. But when it's something like that, I was just so excited that, you know, in the moment. We got 
Patino for the D-backs to four ninety nine. Luis Robert base. Casey Mize. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Now I know what you mean. Yeah, you couldn't really do it. Yeah, dude, I could barely get out of bed. Ricky Benasco for Texas. Marshall. That's awesome, man. They even put you on a flight? Man. Boba Shet. Orange Shimmer of... Marte for the uh, Seattle Mariners. Peraza for the Yankees. He's going to Robert Throne. We got Meadows for the Rays. All right, looks like mixer filler number one is sold out, and the mixer straight up is sold out. So we gotta do one more filler after that, and we can break the football mixer. Jake Fraley to 499 Refractor Auto, Seattle Mariners. Going to TJM. Kyle Lewis and Rutledge to 499 Refractor for the Nationals. Going to John Paul. Ours to this. Poe Dameron. Has the basketball game started already, guys? Garcia. Green Shimmer. And we got Christian Koss, blue first. Colorado Rockies. Going to Andy. I think try to trade the Rockies. Couldn't trade Mojo. Stevenson. Five thirty Pacific Prim or is that Eastern? That's five thirty Pacific, right? That's what you mean? Royce Lewis did one uh two fifty. Twins. Thank you, man. That's a late one though, actually, man. Five thirty? For East Coast, that's like eight thirty already. And we got Santos. Refractor for the Mets. Gavin Lux.
Matos for the Giants. Christopher Bay, Pawson. Zach Collins refractor to four ninety nine. Clark Schmidt. They're like one per box, I believe, though. Purple Shimmer. And Dalquist. It's a local. And it's funny, our, our uh, co worker Thomas just got hired here a couple months back. He says he's a good buddy of Dalquist. He knows him. Local here from Redondo Beach. So hopefully this kid makes it. Nice little White Sox hit right there. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is, is Aaron. Honestly, I just came in today. <laughs> Ooh, and that's a Nico Hornier. That's a short print. Short print. Look at that. Very nice. Joe Pizzo. Man, Joe Pizzo continuing that streak, at least with me. Yeah, I'm covering for Joe today. Farm to Fame, Ozzy Smith. box and then we'll go to the next six. Kurt. Bayron Laura. And we got Kendall Simmons first blue and that was another try to trade but then took back Mojo. Let's go into William. Dominguez. And we got File from Milwaukee. We got Martinez for the Blue Jays. Refractor. Alrighty, guys. So, there you go. Let me just top all these autographs, guys. Six left, guys. Nice. 
Nice. Uh, I'll probably get one eventually. I mean, I just bought Madden like a month ago. Or not a month ago, like two, three weeks ago, actually. So I'm going to enjoy the, my PS4 for a little longer. And then probably some, at some point later at the end of the year, maybe during Christmas time or January, get one. I don't really game as much as I used to, so I'm not totally convinced. But you know, I'm a sucker. I sometimes follow the crowd. No, I was gonna get I was gonna get PGA to play with Nick because Nick says PGA is pretty fire. But now I'm thinking like, should I just wait to get it for like the PS5? But my question is, if I remember correctly, you can't play PS4 games on PS5, right? I do like that there's a digital and then there's like the regular version, or like you can just store everything digitally and then if not then you still get the normal regular version but oh okay you can okay that's good but um I didn't really read into it too much maybe you did so is that the only difference is that one is just digital so it's cheaper but the other one you can access it kind of like your normal PS4 where like if you have a blu-ray or a you know blu-ray 4k DVD you can also pop it in there that's that's the difference really is that you can still use it as a normal like DVD player and then the digital version of course is just the future right you just everything digital it's cuz like you know I don't really have any DVDs blu-rays and anything like that anymore everything is always stream or if I want to rent a movie I just rent it through Amazon or something but my thing is that, like, you know, it's just always, it's always okay to have that, you know? Like, just, you feel safe. You're just like, ah, oh, well, at least my PS4 or my PS5 is like, you could play a DVD here if I had to. So it's like, do I want to get the digital and then feel that, <laughs> feel that little extra, like, damn, I don't have a little DVD player anymore. Or do I just get it, get it with the disc drive? But I feel like, is that worth it for $100 more? Just have a disk drive? You know what I mean? No, I'm, I'm contemplating it. Nice, really pretty the digital one. Yeah, that's probably what I'll probably end up doing, but now I'm just like, contemplating it. What's the bundle? They just give you two controllers? Oh, do they also give you uh, a subscription for a year? I already paid for that. That's true, Prim. That's, that's also a valid point. I mean, I never really sell games, but I guess if you do trade them in to get some type of store credit, then, then yeah. I guess you can, I guess, kind of lose out on that too. Oh, so you, you think that they're going to go for more than $500, Aaron. You treating this like the hobby. I mean, they're going to make millions, right? Or is it just like a limited release <laughs> that I mess up and not get one in time or... I just figured I could wait till like holiday season. Get like a Costco bundle deal or something.
Yeah, well, I figured because it's the first batch, and obviously people want it the first day while everybody else has it, so. I get, I get, I get the hype. But. That's crazy. I mean, good for good for those people that are making a profit off of that, but those are some very desperate people that just don't want to wait. <laughs> but hey, time. Time is money. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, honestly, I'm not dying for it. Like, maybe when I was younger, for sure. I used to play, like, every night. But I'm not dying for it. I just bought Madden. <laughs> I was like, I want to enjoy my PS4 for a little bit. I was like, I barely play it. I mean, I'll eventually get one, I'm sure. Just just to have one. Because, you know, I was Team Xbox for a while. Well, then until all of my buddies, like, decided to change to PS4 because they got, like, bundle deals. And I'm like, what? So then I went to PS4 and then just kind of stayed that way. But, again, I'm not a gamer. I'm not picky. I just, I was just like, whatever all of us have in high school is what we have. You know, so. Well, yeah, the games look incredible. I mean, honest, I mean, it looks very like real. And I'm sure the speed process and everything is really, really, really crazy now, right? Because it was so funny, speaking about this, it's funny you brought it up, Aaron. Uh, you know, I worked a couple hours yesterday in the morning to do the new releases, and my wife picked me up, and she was just like, I got a surprise for you. And she basically said she, she pre-ordered me a PS5. I'm like, why would you do that? You're very against me getting a, a, a PS5, because if I'm, ha if I'm playing on PS5, then I'm not paying attention to you. <laughs> so she tells me that, and I'm kind of semi-believing her, because she, she knows that I want one, but I don't really need it right now. But then I, 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 I like, you know, snap out of it. I'm like, no, I know you didn't because that's that, that stuff sold out so fast. And she's like, no, I'm just joking. You know, I didn't. There you go, William. That's right. Taking a week vacation, breaking the PS5. That's right. No, honestly, I mean, when when it gets, when it uh. When it gets like that, like you need to have a couple days. You need to have a couple days to to be alone with the PS5, enjoy it, right? Just lay on the bed, lay on the couch. It's a truck. What did you? Did we hear? Did we hear Admiral? What is Akbar? Smart. That is very smart. Oh, I don't know why Nick can't blow off. Oh, let me turn it back on. Yeah, no, I feel you, man. Hey, it's been a crazy 2020, I'll tell you that. It's like, I always tell people, as a, like, a little joke. It's like, man, 2020 is what we thought 2012 was going to be. You know, remember when everyone thought the world was going to end? Kovaco? Nice. Nice, Joey. That's sweet, man. A little Tua. Detroit. Packard. Pawson. Larnich. I know, maybe she is pulling a double trick on me, but I don't I, I, I did believe her a little bit, but I didn't I didn't fully believe her. Like she kinda got me though, I'll tell you that. But I mean I mean maybe if she did, I mean then great. Woo! Luis Angel Acuna. That's Ronald Acuna Jr.'s little brother. Texas Green to ninety nine. Gunner Brandon. Uh, Joey, if the filler break sold out, then uh, it's going to happen soon. 
I haven't done anything in the last 40, mi 40 minutes or so because I've been breaking this. So. Did not miss anything. Munoz. I mean, like I said, if she gets one, cool. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really want one so quickly, but I'll take it. A lot of funny memes, though, of PS5s out there, though. And we got Jordan Brewer. Out of 250. Was Houston trying to trade? That's right. Daniel W. was trying to trade the cheating Astros. Well, I don't know if this guy was a cheater. Because, I mean, he's, he's a young prospect. I'm sure he was not a part of the cheating scandal. So, maybe this guy can be somebody. Damn, honestly, I don't even remember. I, I think it might be like... It's like a dumb one. It might be like, like Jay Cordero. Twelve twenty-five, I think. I, I think I put my birthday year. I remember I made it so long ago. <laughs> Just so it was easy for me to remember. I think it's Jay Cordero twelve twenty-five, if I remember correctly. Gold shimmer, Clark Schmidt. Out of fifty. Nico and John Martinez. Red Sox. This guy for the Braves is a good prospect, right? Christian. Purple. Four left, guys. Wow, there we go. We got our first. Bayron Laura. Just a little base first auto, but there you go. That's a nice one. If I remember correctly, someone said that his base autos are going for like 300 bucks or so. Very nice. Uh, it's going to the Rangers and Brandon. For the A's, Jeffries. And Florentino. Oh, nice Doughboy. That's right. <laughs> gotcha, Willie. No, I know. I mean, I always wanted to follow all my friends having, like, like not like that kind of username, but if anything, like, all the other ones. Like, you know how they make, like, funny jokes of, like, people still to this day. Like, you know, we're over here, like, what's your, uh, what's your email? And I see your email on your resume is, you know, I'm not even going to say the words. And it's just like, this, this, at <laughs> Just like, what? And people still forget that that's what their email is. But I always ended up just using my, like, initials or something. All my friends put some crazy ones. I'll tell you that. I was just never down to do that. Bayron. Oh, was that air? Nice. Yeah, I, I might play a little bit tonight. I don't know. Depending, it, depending if I... How late I get out of here. I'm not trying to stay super late today, though. I think I'm just going to do, like, my normal... Like, how Joe would have been here. Like, 1 or 9, maybe. Maybe till 10, actually. Do, like, 9 hours. So... 
You guys will have me for a lot more tomorrow on Monday, like my usual days. Robert. Oh, last one sold for 500. Even better. Very nice. We got Kikuchi. Green. Alvarez. And Jan for the Angels. Medina for the Phillies. Dominguez. All right, two boxes left, guys. So again, after this, clean up. Give me feel like give me about five five minutes or so to print labels, clean up. I'll go through order, see who sold out the. Uh, uh, hanger filler for the mixer and then if we haven't posted another one already I'll post it up and that'll be the last one we have to do to unlock the mixer and then if anything else sold out we'll add that to the schedule as well Sola and Taylor Jones for the Astros Kluber nice break for Texas though Texas is getting a lot of color and some good autos Shimmer, Sam Huff. Dubon, rookie. And Dylan Cease. Ugh, I can't be a Robert. That's a gold. 19 out of 50, though. Gold rookie. That's for the Chicago White Sox and Alex. Woods Richardson to 99. I guess not, Jarrell. Has it not been moving? People still want to do, of course, a lot of Bowman Chrome today. And Opulence. And at least the football makes it looks like. They wrong. The wind D uh, Diaz. Marlins. Reds blue. Ward for the Red Sox, followed by DJ Hall Orange, nicely fitting with that uh, Orioles Orange. And a little Jason Dominguez. Alrighty guys, let me top load these autographs, we'll do a little recap, but that was it folks.
Alrighty guys, so here are some of the just bigger rookies and base. It'll be top loaded for you. These are all like one per box purple shimmers. So here they are right here. Here are all the color cards. There might be a shimmer on this side too. I might have put it in a stack over here. Here are the color cards as well. Boom. A couple of greens, a blue, a little refractors, another green, a couple of refractors, gold shimmer. Nice, and then here are the uh, well, bigger rookies of anything like Luis Robert, of course, top loaded already. Packard, Martinez, Florentino, Pages, Robert Base again, Jan, Jones, uh, Diaz, Ward, Brandon Marsh for the Angels Relic, Cease Gold rookie, Laura for the Texas Rangers, that's a big one, Brewer, Acuna Jr., Luis Angel, that's Ron Acuna Jr.'s little brother, Patino, Santos, Bolton. Bonasco, Peraza, Fraley, Koss, Santos, Matos, File, Simmons. That's a Nico Hornier uh, short print. And Dalquist to 499. So there you go, guys. 2020 Bowman Chrome Hobby Baseball 12 box case break. Random teams number three in the books. Jaspies, casebreaks.com.